So this is the Nightcat pop-up now. I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time. We used to have two of them from um, Explore Planet Earth, the little speedy ones. Uh, one was made out of ripstop nylon, the other one was made out of canvas. And man, I absolutely hated them. <laughs> they were this big to pack up, big round circles. The canvas one always dipped. It was just, it was just not a nice experience. So I saw this a couple of months back and uh, it was funny because recently Nightcat reached out to me to ask if I wanted to have a look at some of their gear. I sent them a list of what I was interested in. They sent everything to me. So I'm really excited to get stuck into these guys. I've got three different variations of, uh, of the Nightcat stuff, but today we're having a look at this guy. So the reason why I wanted to have a look at this is basically I wanted something that was quick to put up and would give me a reasonable amount of space and would be easier to use and easier to pack. So, as you can tell, this little circle is significantly smaller than you would get with a standard sort of pop-up tent. Normally they're like out to here um, for the two to three person one. So, this is already a lot smaller um, and it weighs basically nothing, which is great. Now, keeping in mind, it's a single wall tent. So, in colder climates, colder weather, you're going to get condensation. In hotter climates, it's going to be less... Um, you know, less cool during the day. So there are pros and cons to something like this, but um, I'm really excited to try it. So I'm gonna give it a go and we're gonna put it up and uh, see what our initial thoughts are. Now, I haven't put this up yet. This will be my first time with you guys. So, uh, hey, let's see how we go. Cool. But first, let's have a look what's in the pack. I'll bring you along. Let's do it. All right, everyone. So let's have a little look. So the bag is already pretty nice and upon opening it we have the uh, instruction manual, uh, the pop-up tent manual, looks reasonable, it's fairly easy. Obviously folding these things back up is a bit of a challenge so um, I'll uh, definitely run you through that when we get to that point. Um, so yeah, as I said to you, I haven't had any practice with this yet, this is my first time so bear with me and uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Cool, alright. And then we've got a bag of goodies. Let's see what's in here. Okay, righto. So right off the bat, I can already tell you that um, these things, you may as well throw away because they're useless, they bend. So replace these straight away. But then you've also got four guy lines. The guy lines look pretty good. That's cool. All right, let's put that back. Yeah, guys, please always get yourself proper pegs um, and uh, never go to a campground without first having put up your tent unless you're experienced and you can deal with things that go wrong like I am. But uh, there we go. And then let's have a look at this guy. Cool. Bag's empty. So this is the actual tent, guys. I like the coloring so far. This green's quite nice, the green and the gray. It's kind of a bluish gray. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I reckon let's go put it up and see what it looks like. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. I reckon about here is quite good. So let's uh, see how this deploys. <laughs> like I said to you guys, it's been a while since I've had one of these. Oh, that's cool. The uh, elastic strap actually connects to the tent so you won't lose it. That's pretty good. I like that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Deployed. Cool, okay. So it's a little bigger than I was expecting. That's cool. All right, I reckon we gotta peg it down real quick and uh, see what we got. <laughs> Alrighty, I reckon I'm gonna start here in the front. So I'm just gonna use the pegs that are supplied just so I can see what this all looks like. So I'm just gonna get this down now. It is quite important to always peg these guys down because it adds to the uh, stability of the frame. So a lot of people don't peg these things out and I think that's, you know, a bit of a mistake. Always got to get them down nicely. 
cool. Let's do the back. All right, so what I like to do is to give it a bit of a pull, just to make sure everything is nice and taut. And then I'm just gonna get this guy down. On the other side. Alright everyone, let's have a little look at what this looks like. So this is a nice little fly sheet with little grommets at the front here so you can pick it out if you needed to. That's useful. Alright, for now I'm just going to put that to the side. And then here is the main, main mesh door. That's pretty cool. It's got a little toggle so you can like tie it up on the side there. Oh man, it's got quite a bit of space in here. That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to climb in here and let's see what it looks like. Oh, hey, that's not bad. <laughs> that's pretty good. Got tons of space. I can sit up so it's already better than my hiking tent. And it's got really nice little mesh windows on each side for ventilation, which is great. Cool. That's really nice, and I can tell on the inside here, all the seams are seam taped, which is quite impressive. Very, very cool. I like that. It's completely seam taped. That's very nice, actually. So far, the quality looks reasonable. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, actually. Now, keeping in mind, there's no door at the back, so your only form of ventilation is the two side doors and then the front mesh, but I think that should be fine for something like this. It's pretty good guys and you saw how quickly that went up <laughs> it was amazing um, yeah I reckon we're gonna do quite well in here nice Initial thoughts, quality looks good. I like the coloring. I like the way they've done it. This seems to, uh, I'm sure once this is pegged out, it'll hold its shape pretty well. I like the ventilation, I like the front door. I wish there was a door at the back, just so you can get cross ventilation as well, but you know, it's not a big deal, not a, not a, not a deal breaker for me. But yeah, given how light it is and how easy it packs up, I think this is a fairly compelling argument against like a hiking tent or something like that. Now, obviously given this is a single wall tent, so um, there is that, but yeah, so far so good. So plan is I'm gonna camp in this tonight. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. I've got a mattress, I've got sleeping bags, or everything I need. And uh, tomorrow morning I'll show you and give you a little rundown of how it went. Now it's gonna be very, very cold tonight. We're not expecting rain, so that is one thing, but it is going to be freezing. So I'm keen to see how this thing goes and if it keeps me warm or not. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back for that in the morning. And yeah, exciting. <laughs> awesome, guys. Wicked, thank you so much for joining me and uh, stay tuned. I'll bring you back. Good morning everybody <laughs> oh man what a beautiful morning the sun's coming up it's really pretty everything's super clear it's gorgeous but uh yeah let's talk about what my night was like in the night cat one person pop-up tent so good things first it kept me warm it kept me dry um, i slept really well ventilation was great um, yeah really really nice sleep better than i thought it would be um, some of the negatives though I will tell you is this thing is just big enough to fit a mattress in all right so my mattress is 10 centimeters thick so my head and my feet were touching the tent okay so if you're gonna use a mattress in this just keep in mind you might be close to the tent um, and if you're taller than 165 this is probably not the tent for you um, 
but yeah other than that it was totally fine now it did get down to about zero degrees last night so i had quite a bit of condensation in the tent this morning um, it was quite wet on the top and um, i don't know if you can see this but the uh, fly sheet is still wet as well um, so condensation is a bit of an issue in cold climates for sure um, but yeah other than that guys it worked really really well it's a nice cozy snug space in there um, I reckon it's um, on par with like a swag or whatever but obviously this thing being made out of uh, ripstop it's not uh, it's not as dark in the morning luckily I had my uh, I had my top over it so that did help a bit but it does get bright pretty quick under there but yeah guys I think for the money you pay and for the ease of pop-up and set up and pack down I don't think this is a bad prospect. Um, I do like it a lot. I don't know if I'll be adding it to my permanent kit, um, but it's a nice little option to have, especially if you've got someone joining you, just want to put up a quick tent for them. This is great. Yeah, guys. So from uh, where I stand tonight, after having, uh, today, after having been in here for a night in very, very cold weather, um, I reckon it's a good six out of 10. I, I reckon for the money you pay, it's pretty good value. Um, the stitching looks really good. Quality looks really good. Um, so yeah, I have uh, no problems recommending this to someone if this is something that you're interested in. Uh, it folds down pretty small. It's easy to pack, not like those big, huge ones. And um, it holds its shape very well also, which the Explore Planet Earth ones never did for me. So that's already a big plus in my book. But yeah guys, there we go. The Night Cat uh, one person pop up. Pretty good. 6 out of 10. Solid effort. Oh, let's back it up and uh, <laughs> let's head home. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 